with this problem, what we're looking at is the same that we just did. The only difference is, if I go back here real quick, a lot of us can look at that and we can get the right answer out just by thinking and doing some subtraction. Whereas when we look at it, when we add the algebra in, this is now a little bit harder because we can't just do a quick addition subtraction problem and be done. We have to look at this as an example of a part plus a part equals a whole. Now, a little bit later this this unit, we'll talk about when there's a midpoint involved. For now, we don't know anything special about B. B is just some point between A and C. So don't think this is always going to work, but this works when it's just there in the middle. We need to get an equation that's going to tie these ideas together using that part, part, whole concept. So let's see. Pull somebody at random. One, two, three, four, five. He already got called on today. Zach, where are you? There you are, Chief. Can you give me an equation? <coughs> That's going to tie these ideas together. This part, that part, and that whole. Um, 4x, 4x plus, plus 2. Eight x plus two? No, not yet. Let's finish the equation. Don't combine terms yet. What's that going to equal? Mm, yeah. you're, you're already combining terms. Part plus part has to equal the whole. So that has to equal three x plus eight. You can't solve an equation. <coughs> Excuse me. You can't solve an equation unless you've got a full working equation. Bailey, what's up? Don't you have to put x plus two in parentheses so it's not like? Well, yes and no. On the one hand, it is good manners to note that. The advantage is it's all addition. Right. So addition can be done in any order. So the parentheses are going to disappear once I get rolling anyhow. Right. But it's useful, I think, especially when you're starting off, to have those parentheses drawn so you can see how everybody is organized. So you can actually now see right in this problem. 4x plus x plus 2. That what's that, the, What do those two parts add up to? They add up to the whole of 3x plus 8. Now I can do that 5x plus 2 Zach wanted to get into, which is the combining my like terms. I mentioned some of the big concerns about what you had to bring to this class from last year and other years is this algebra, especially with variables on both sides of the equal sign. You've got to be able to handle this stuff. And if you can't, we've got a little bit of time to find it, but we really need to be OK with the algebra. Subtract 3x from both sides leaves me 2x plus 2 is 8. Subtract off the 2. That's going to leave me 2x is equal to 6. Divide off the 2. x is equal to 3. Am I finished? No. You sure? Yes. Okay, here. Sorry for the interruption. We have a few afternoon announcements. There will be an informational meeting about the fall play this coming Tuesday, September 13th at 2.30 in the auditorium. Audition information will be given out at this time. Everyone is invited. Drop-in tutoring through NHS will begin this coming Monday at PL after PLC from 1.30 to 2.30 in the LGI. And then it will begin every Wednesday from 2.30 to 3.30 in the LGI. Make sure you're there. The ski team meeting is this Thursday, September 15th at 8 o'clock in room C100. Don't miss out and learn about the upcoming season and find, find out how you can pitch in and help out with upcoming fundraisers. The Wellbeck Central Choir Car Wash is next Saturday.